Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly coffee cup and gemstone combination reading for the month of October. Okay, so let's get right into the reading. Okay, the rune that fell out is um, Anzus. It did come in reverse and it flew out there. So when it does come into reverse, Anzus does speak of um, <sighs> communications. They can be a little bit erratic. They can be a little bit off. Um, maybe do watch um, how do you speak this month, make sure things are clear, pay attention to details, things like that. It does sometimes show, um, you know, a lack of information or a little bit of clouded judgment. You need to maybe balance some areas, okay? Keep yourself balanced. There can be possible breakdown of communications or just like I said, you know, uh, things like that. Also, what I feel is don't make any decisions without thinking things through, consulting, make sure you get the good advice, watch out for bad advice, you know, go with your own judgment there. So it's a little bit off, and I think it's going to be more in the beginning of the month because it flew out here. So like I said, timing is different for everyone, but that's what showed up. Okay. You got a lot going on here. Um, you know, money is definitely in focus. We're seeing money stones too. So money is in focus and your money um, is on your mind, definitely, okay? Um, you're going to be attracting money uh, to you this month, okay? Now for some, I'm seeing either you may have fundraisers or charities or collecting from groups of people for a cause or something like that. There's donations possibly. Others, you could be spending money um, on a new project, Okay, so that is showing up. You're very protective this month, okay? Protecting people that are close to you and going over and above to take care of them, okay? So we're seeing that you're keeping it very close to yourself um, and taking care of the people you love. Now, like I see here, again, aligning here, we're seeing communications can be a little bit off. Um, it could be possible that you're uh, trying to get in touch with someone and it's a little bit challenging. Okay. So that's what we're seeing there too. Um, the best thing is try to find some other form of communication. Okay. Or another way that is what showed up when you got that there. Um, you are definitely focused on big goals, big, um, aims. Okay. That is definitely showing up. Now your climb to the top of the mountain is a little bit um, of a struggle, you know, to get to like the basics or to, you know, base one, okay, home base, whatever. But it does keep saying, keep trying, keep pushing through. You are very determined this month. Um, you know, it's not the determination that's lacking. It could be something else because there is a few obstacles in the way here. Okay, to each is different, you know, to um, reach the summit. You will accomplish a lot, okay? Success is here and celebration, all right? So we're just seeing that energy. Now, love is in focus too and maybe an adventure. You may be traveling. Um, take care of health. But most likely, this could be the health of someone else. I think it's more for others. It's just I'm seeing this energy of you protecting others more. Okay, so you may be taking care of others more um, and things like that instead of your help. But still, always your help should be um, in focus. All right, so home um, and career is coming into focus. There may be some, something may change because you do have this in um, reverse. It's like a tower. Something may change and it could be a blessing in disguise because it's going to accelerate something to um, different resolutions and that. That's what I'm feeling here. So really, that is what's showing up here. Okay. Now, uh, you could uh, have um, a deeper meaning with someone in love in matters of the heart. Um, like I said, you're holding some people very close to you. But there can be a little bit of power struggles we're seeing here. Um, and this is with important people. Okay. We're seeing that focus there too. So be a little bit careful um, of that. Uh, with love, there can be a sense of um, you just being able to read someone very well. You may meet someone. They may be a little bit distracting because it's like trying to focus between work and adventure at the same time. That's the feeling I'm getting here. All right. Um, you got a lot here. And do be aware that there are some jealous people around too. But this could be you 
Okay, this could be maybe then just power struggles, okay? Because there could be some competitors around too. Okay, let's um see what this card has to say. Centering. Very interesting. Okay, I like this card. Centered. Um, you know, that what that definitely means is being grounded. Okay, so when you do get centering, uh, remaining grounded and centered is essential. Okay, whenever... Whenever you're trying to embark anything in life, okay, like a new journey, it's important to be balanced, centered, or you can risk, you know, being blown away, okay, so to speak. This does remind you to align your core essence and to be able to move forward in life from a strong, grounded position, okay? For example, um, especially when things are changing or they seem a little bit off in your life, it's important to be flexible, okay, and centered. It just reminds you to regain perspective and find the middle ground, okay? So that is the message that came through there. Put that card there. All right, so we'll start with the coffee cup um, reading. Let's see. Wow, you have a very interesting cup, so let's see what shows up for you guys. Wow, wow. This is really, again, climbing the mountain. And it's almost, it's like a tower effect too. But anyway, let's look in here. Yeah, there's going to be developments with um, business or whatever you do most of the day. This is job, new methods or ways of doing things. Important people or circumstances in, um, in your life are going to be arising, okay? You may be dealing with um, important <sighs> institutions. I don't know if you've applied for government jobs or things like that, too. Um, so the foundation here, there is some um, changes here and in status for some. But really, there is some moving um, and there is definitely like a tower effect. Things beyond your control. OK. Some people will be noticing a more charming side to you. OK, that they haven't seen before. That's what's showing up, too. Yeah, some of you will be dealing with um, maybe the government or government institutions. Yeah, um, bureaucratic matters, okay? Things like that are showing up. For those who have their own, like, business, um, more networking and strategizing your um, business, like maybe uh, making changes on websites, things like that, Um You know, you may be given or receiving more responsibilities, okay? There are some challenges, of course, when you got this coming up. But, you know, success is on its way, so it's really good. It's breaking down some things that maybe have been barriers, and it's, um, you know, coming through throughout the month here. Uh, some challenges and trouble with um, plans or reactions. You have a lot of power, okay? Very powerful energy. But you may lack some support from others, okay? So there could be some people who may not be supporting you. And this could be with work or whatever you do most of the day. Um, it's either they have doubts or you find competitors throwing in some wrenches, okay? So that's what we're seeing there. Yeah, power struggles are showing up again here. Um, harsh words. and But watch, uh, watch what you say. Think before you speak. Because it can also boomerang. Um... Try not to over-dominate things this month, too, okay? Now, also, make sure that secrets or private information stays confidential. Or there will be some consequences, okay? This can be a very busy month with a career uh, business and moving forward. Okay. We're really seeing that energy. Um, and moving forward to success, but do try to avoid any confrontations with powerful people or people that have influence that you're trying to, um, either get help with whatever you do most of the day. Not everybody works. So maybe it's something in your private life. So do, um, avoid any confrontations with powerful people or people that can help you. 
Compromise is needed, okay? You're needing to see that balance again, staying centered, as we're saying, seeing there, okay? So that is showing up. I do see travel for some, and you could meet a love interest while traveling. Or you could be attracted to a new place. Like you go somewhere and you're like, oh my God, I really like this city. And you know what I mean? Things like that. Um, also, there can be, how do I say? Maybe a proposal is possible. Um, and it's connected to maybe love, money, um, adventure. Okay. Or all of them combined. Yeah. It's like a turn of events happens here. And that can distract you a little bit from your goals or your responsibilities because you want to explore and have more fun. That's another thing. So again, stay grounded and centered. Like I said, it's a general reading. So being centered in that and grounded can mean for everyone, different areas in your life. You'll know which one it is for you. All right. Yeah, home or work can have some sense of urgencies, okay? And this may be the like pop moment, you know, like the straw that breaks the camel's back that resolves some different issues. So that's showing up. You know, coming now. Plant the seeds to accomplish at least one cherished wish or goal or top priority objective. Okay, in the future to come, several months. Some of you may do it right away, some not, but plant the seeds now because I see within the next several months, um, you can accomplish one of that, one of those. So that is very important. Whoops. Again, staying a little bit centered here. See, this is really trying to get you to be centered. Okay, um, and grounded. And adjust with any, um, yeah, kind of go with the flow is the best thing to say here, okay? Definitely moving ahead. You have a powerful cup, okay? But I'm seeing more adventure coming in um, later too. So we'll see what next month brings, but that's what's showing up. Very interesting cup. Okay, and on the plate. All right. Definitely you're on the stage here. Career, uh, business, uh, more popularity. Definitely we're seeing that. Um, dealing with very powerful or authority figures or people that could be very useful and helpful. Um, you could be dealing with institutions, okay, because it's almost forming these powerful squares. Um, institutions, uh, for some, you may get government type of jobs. For some, you may enlist in the military or something to deal with the military. I'm seeing that too. There are contracts showing up or contract jobs or proposals. Um, I am seeing also... Um, a needing for a balance again here it is showing up you need to balance uh things again uh major decisions can be coming up but it is best to consult okay best to consult with others or whoever you trust um and think before making any major decisions balance again is really uh needed and to be centered okay because you've got this powerful energy but you need some balance here and to be centered something that was not fair is going to balance itself out. So wherever the fair side of the scale falls, it was going to go there. For others, I am also seeing you may have be dealing with the law. Uh, court could be coming up or... <sighs> for others, this is for someone out there because I just saw this, so that doesn't mean it's everyone. If you've had a legal case, some justice, a uh, fairness may... Um, start balancing out. So if you felt that it was going more on the other side or, in your, you know, whatever, it's going to balance out. There's going to be more of a fair type of judgment. So um, know that the universe is saying that. So whatever it be, it's, it's um, fairing itself out. For others, there can be some karma. Uh, seeing someone else deal with some karma or you may hear about it or you may not know about it, but we are seeing that energy too. Again, Watch your emotional self, okay? New emotional beginnings, okay? So, so something's clearing up. If you've been a little depressed, if you felt lonely, um, something may come new, okay? Because it is clearing up here too. But again, what I see here is maybe you need to be a caregiver for someone. Maybe somebody um, might have health issues or you're taking care of someone else. This could be a child, a parent, 
Um, yeah, it could be even a parent or, um, you know, a grandparent or somebody else. You may, uh, may have some health issues or you may have to be taking care of them. Um, or the health of someone else's may be significant to you. So that's what showed up in your coffee cup reading. And I'm going to pull the animal powerful cards. You got bear boundaries, stand your ground. Okay. So when the bear shows up, Definitely. It's a powerful animal and I love the bear, but it is correlating with your reading here. You know, you must define who you are. Okay. But also who you are not. All right. That is really what I always see when I see the bear in the cup. It's like, okay. Um, when you say a clear no is when you can say a clear yes. Okay. A balance again. And both are equally important in defining where your edges are all right so that's the message that comes through there uh definitely set boundaries uh stay centered correlating right here with centering stay centered stand your ground the bear is always um de uh, denotes protection and we were seeing that there too very important and even here maybe it's someone you know taking care of a loved one or being protective or the health issue we're seeing um it's like, you know, mama bear with her cubs, okay? Very protective. Also, the bear is very creative. It brings creative intelligence. Um, there's healing too. So, you know, maybe you'll, like we, we're coming back to that again. Um, the bear does bring healing, but it does also bring solitude. You know, he does hibernate, okay? So this is the message that came through. This is a very strong card. I do like it. So again, it's like creating center centerness balance going more with the flow but making sure that you have your boundaries set too okay so we're going to put these up here okay and we're going to pull um some tarot cards sorry my cat just passed by okay Okay. All right. So you got the tower, you got the sun, you got the lover's card, and you got the king of cups. Okay. So these are pretty strong cards. You have uh, three major arcana cards here. Okay. So we are seeing definitely some changes. And really with the sun, it's like more popularity bringing things out. So we are seeing these changes occurring. Okay. So with the tower, here definitely changes or breaking things down beyond your control, okay? You know, turn of events sometimes happens with this. Uh, there are major changes happening. But with the sun next to it, it's good. Usually it's a good omen to it. Uh, the sun is more popularity, more childlike, um, adventurous, um, you know, more happier times. I do like that. Also, maybe sometimes I see that sometimes dealing with new beginnings, uh, pet projects, things like that. Uh, the lover's card, we're talking about contracts here. Matters of the heart are coming in focus also. And with the king of cups here is, you know, this is showing that uh, charismatic side of you too. Some of you could be dealing with um, a water sign energy too, could be coming into focus this month, okay? But this is, again, usually it's a domineering type of person, but um, they are very caring, supportive, uh, great mentors, advice. Also, trust your own advice and um intuition also this is you can you know what we're seeing here is consulting with um people to give you some good um advice too so be careful though who and what but this does come here that you um, um you do have some good people around you that could uh, be helpful all right so when we're seeing this you know the tower the sun here you're trying to catch up with some things that's what i'm feeling here and you know creating creating some kind of backup plan is the best thing here or some type of safety net, okay? Because with the King of Cups and the Tower there, it does talk about safety. I always see that. You know, every tarot reader sees things differently. That's the way I've been seeing it always, but I feel that. Um, for security and confidence, okay? That's coming through with work or personal life, okay? Um, definitely enthusiasm um, you're, for a person. I'm seeing some more enthusiasm for a person or a place or an offering, or again, a proposal. Um, and it might reach some stratospheric type of level. And that can be with love, money, um, adventure. 
Okay, so it's very possible also travel with the tower. Um, so definitely we're seeing that energy. Keep an eye on schedules though and itineraries uh, or instructions because methodical work, all right, um, well, it brings rewards and great results, okay? Because you got the sun here. I definitely like that. A new phase is beginning like with growth, okay? And that could be career, money, uh, prospects. You are more charming this month and you have a you have a way with words, okay? So communication is in focus. So just be careful how you communicate. Find ways to communicate because it um, you do have a way with words though, okay? Um, you're more confident, okay? Confidence is showing up. It's fueled and it's more increased, okay? So those are the messages that came through here. Very, very interesting. Okay, and now we're going to pull the um, romance cards for love. Two, four singles. Let me try to make some room here. Then I'll read them overall. Okay, the first one you get is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. And for singles, the second card you get is, ooh, wedding. The situation involves marriage. Okay, so when we're seeing this, it could be meaning that, you know, financial. Some of you may be overworking. You know, you're married to your career. You may be overworking or you have some financial issues that it's you feel is maybe in the way so you're not focusing on finding love or it's affecting your love life but wedding when wedding is here this situation involves marriage it can mean for some you know you're married to your job so it's affecting your love life but at the same time you may meet someone I feel sometimes through work or you may be meeting someone that um, you may bond and it will grow to a bigger um, to a higher level you do have the cover, uh, lovers card here too all right, so for the married, coupled Aquarius, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? And the second card is past life relationship. You must have known each other before, okay? So for the coupled or, yeah, married um, Capricorns, I almost said Gemini, so maybe someone's dealing with a Gemini. Um incorporate some playfulness okay now we are seeing some kind of adventure going on too okay so have some fun allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun you have the sun here too definitely do that so it's reaffirming that message and past life relationship okay so you may some you may um have a sense now that you're bonding closer and you're like wow i've known this person for you know you feel like you've had that connection always or this is your um karmic partner okay your soulmate now, when I'm putting this all together, all right, again, we're showing here how you need a balance, all right? This is kind of confirming this uh, balance between maybe career, home, family, or um, uh, creating some boundaries. So, you know, if you're saying you don't have enough money, you're trying to make money, well, still, still find a balance um, so you can be able to um, do things that you love, you know, socializing, meeting new people, going out, spending more time with your partner, because I'm doing that overall reading for Capricorn. All right. Um, wedding is here. So there is says an omen here that there could be a proposal coming up. Okay. We've been seeing that kind of, it could be in any which way proposal. Um, and it could be matters of the heart. So some of you may get a proposal for marriage. Okay. Or to advance your status with um, someone. Okay. So that did show up in focus. Um, or if you've been living with someone for a long time, maybe that's going to be talks about it. But do incorporate some playfulness. We do see that in the reading too, okay? Some adventure, all right? Um, you need to have some fun. Enjoy yourself, okay? Let some of your worries go. And um, look out for synchronicities, okay? Because you do have, it looks like a very close connection. You do have the King of Cups here and the Lovers. That does signify sometimes soulmates too, okay? So um, those are the messages that came through. Very interesting, very nice reading. So basically, the underlining, I feel, energy of all of it is just creating some balance, some boundaries, and um, centering yourself, as that card says. Well, anyway, Capricorn, that was your reading for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed it, and check out your weekly readings. They are more, you know, the energies come out more for each week, so as it flows along. But um, until then... See you in the weeklies. Okay, bye for now.